Alrighty, this is gonna be part two of Xenosaga, episode one. Damn it! Not now! Will my death be for nothing? This ship is about to capsize. Please make haste. Wait, Cosmos. Cosmos, do... Do you understand what you've just done? My assigned duty is to protect Vector employees. Protection of military personnel is not part of my prime directive. That's no excuse! You have no right to go about killing people! Why did you shoot Lieutenant Virgil? With your power, you don't have to sacrifice anyone to- At that time, Lieutenant Virgil was in my direct line of fire. Any changes in my firing position to avoid Lieutenant Virgil while protecting you would have resulted in a 30% depreciation in my offensive capabilities. On the other hand, with the Lieutenant's death, there would only be a 0.2% drop in efficacy. I simply chose the option with the highest probability to keep you alive. Furthermore, the escape pod has a maximum capacity of two occupants. I believe it is obvious who gets priority. How could... How can you even say that? Have you no conscience? Shion, you forget I am not human. I am merely a weapon. You, of all people, should be well aware of that fact. What is your decision? Will you board the escape pod, or will you not board the escape pod? If you wish to express remorse for his death, it is best that you survive. Otherwise, you will render his death meaningless. Come on, Chief. Let's go.
Affirmative. The target object was not the original. Affirmative. It was an emulator. Roger. Upon deploying tracking device, I will depart immediately. As originally planned, I will head for second Milsha. What a mess. Whoever it was, they sure went all out. You think there's anything left out there? Hey, Tony. How long before the Federation gets here? Well, let's see. The last SOS went out a half an hour ago, so... We've probably got at least three hours, right? No sign of any nearby ships either. Right, Hammer? Yep. We're the only ship within a 5,000 light year radius. All right. That should be enough. Let's grab anything that looks salvageable. You know, Captain, I realize the deadline for paying back Master Guinan is right around the corner, but don't you think this is a little risky? If the Feds find us out, we'd be lucky to get 10 years. That's if they find out. You know the Feds aren't gonna patrol all the way out here in the middle of nowhere. Well, I just don't like the idea of feeding off the dead. I mean, what are we? Space jackals? Vultures? Hyenas? You moron. What kind of metaphor is that? Don't be comparing us to extinct animals. You'll jinx us. We're recyclers, dammit. Environmentally friendly space recyclers. Master Guinan told us to stay away from any side jobs, remember? He said it hurts the Foundation's image. I don't know. Oh ho! We got a wrecked ship here, three o'clock. Looks like a Ganymede class. Nice work there, Tony. Good thing we were tapping the UMN emergency channel. Come on, pull in close, hurry. Yep, we're vultures. What was that? Spectrum matches up perfectly. It's a geocrystal. All right, not bad. Let's start with that one. Ugh! That's not a Geo Crystal, you idiot. It's a corpse. Well, what'd you expect? This is a battlefield. That's eh, no big deal. Don't bother wasting fuel. Just keep going and let it bounce off. You're kidding, right? My dead grandma told me to be respectful of the dead. Sorry, but I don't want any bad karma. You do it, Captain. You moron. What? Is that your grandfather out there? Don't be ridiculous. Just shut up and keep moving. Man, not again. Captain, this is so typical of you, making us do all the dirty work. You moron. What the hell are you doing? I said bounce it off. Well, don't look at me. It got stuck on its own. It's not my fault. Whatever. Just get rid of it. Hey, it's a girl. She might be cute, you know? <laughs> <laughs> my ass, you sicko. Who the hell cares how she looks? She's dead. Exactly. Besides, she's facing the other way. It's a shame we can't meet face to face.
Please open your communications line. I need to speak with you. Frequency 2020. Ah, a talking corpse? You moron? Open your eyes. That ain't no corpse. This ain't happening. This ain't happening. It, uh, it's a realian, or a cyborg, something like that. But I've never heard of a realian that can operate out in space. Well, it's probably a military robot or something. Just open the channel. Uh, <clears throat> I'm Captain Matthews of the Tramp Freighter Elsa. We received your SOS signal earlier. It happened to be within range of our navigational path, uh, so we rushed here to your rescue. Huh? Rescue? rescue? Oh! Uh, <clears throat> so, is there anything we can do to assist you? What do you mean, rescue? What about our side job? Relax, you moron. We're gonna grab what we can while taking care of this little rescue. With this mess, I bet there's no one left alive anyway. I will make this brief. I request that you gate jump to second Milsha immediately. Say what? Oh yeah. Keep dreaming, sweetheart. We can't leave yet. We still got work to do. And besides, Second Milsha? Have you any idea how much it would cost to travel that far? There is no need for concern. We will cover all UMN gate fees incurred. You expect us to believe that? Even if that were true, we've got other business to attend to right now. We don't have that kind of time. My time is limited as well. Failure to comply will result in the destruction of this window. <laughs> Go ahead, give it a try. The Elsa's forward window can withstand direct hits from debris as big as six millimeters. A punch from a girly like you wouldn't even dent. One more strike and this window will shatter. It appears that none of you are wearing spacesuits. Keep in mind that I am making this proposal with goodwill. I could just as easily toss you out into space and take over the ship. Okay, okay! Yeah, we'll do it, we'll do it! Don't be so rash! Had you accommodated me from the outset, we would have saved 1 minute 45 seconds. I am coming on board now. Please open the cargo bay. Yeah, right. One more thing. What? What? Do not accelerate in an attempt to knock me off. If you do so, I will destroy the engine and the entire ship with it. She's got us, Red. Shut up. Hey, Captain, I've got someone on the open channel. Who could it be? Survivors? Uh oh. Hold on. I'll put it on the speakers. Hello? Is anybody out there? Hello? Anyone? If anyone is scanning this channel, please help! Come on, Chief, you give it a try. Don't worry. A rescue ship will come for us eventually. I'm more concerned about Cosmos. Now, where could she be? How would I know? Besides, we're not out of the woods yet. I mean, the Gnosis might still be around. I'm not worried about that right now. We have to retrieve Cosmos. Forget about Cosmos, what about us? Well, if I knew this was gonna happen, I wouldn't have let everyone else go first. Maybe they're still around. You think? I can't believe you. Alan, how can you be so insensitive after all that's happened? What do you mean? Of course 
I'm traumatized. Chief, that was really uncalled for. Do you think that I'm an emotionless android? For you to even think that is the most traumatizing thing of all. No, I never said anything like that. You just did. You think I'm an android, don't you? What the hell? Huh? Uh, hey! Xion. Cosmos? Cosmos, is that you? Where are you right now? I am on board a civilian ship passing through the area. Please remain at your current locale. A Federation rescue vessel should arrive soon. Remain here? Cosmos, just what are you up to? I am commandeering this ship to go to Second Milsha. These are my orders from headquarters. You're going wet. Wait a second! What about us? Unfortunately, you were not mentioned in my orders. Therefore, this mission takes priority. Oh, I see. What, you expect us to sit here and wait for the cavalry? That is the logical conclusion. Wait a second! What guarantee do we have that the Federation will dispatch a rescue? What if no one comes? The two of us will starve to death inside this pod! You can't do this! Actually, suffocation would come first. Your air supply will be depleted in 46 hours. Oh, in that case... Suffocation?! That is correct. But there is a 96% probability that a rescue vessel will arrive within 15 hours. Your chances of survival are high, but this is not a certainty. Uh... but... There's no way I'm going to allow this! You cannot act on your own, Cosmos! Bring us on board immediately! There is no time for this. I am signing off. Xion, Alan, please take care. Now just wait one second, Cosmos! You better bring us on board, or I'll open the hatch. You hear me? What? What are you doing, Chief? Please, don't do anything crazy! Be quiet, Alan. Listen to me, Cosmos. You know what'll happen if I turn this lever, right? Doesn't this go against your directive? After all, you're supposed to bring us back alive. Am I right? You are delaying me from my mission. I suggest you do as you please. Cosmos! You don't believe I'll do it, do you? I'm serious, you know. What? She's really gonna do it! Why not help her? <sighs> Sounds like she means it. Hey, Chaos. You're up. With all this racket, who could sleep? Is that okay with you? Well, it looks like she doesn't have any objections. So it's all up to you, Captain. What do you say? Think we ought to rescue them? Uh, well, if you say so, sure, I don't mind. Tony? Excuse us. Uh, um, we... I'm Captain Matthews. My name is Shion Uzuki, and I'm from Vector Industries, 1st R&D Division. And this is my co-worker, Alan Ridgely, who also works in the same division. We do apologize for all the trouble our errant cosmos may have caused you. Come on, Alan. Show them your gratitude. Uh, right. Thank heavens you were around to rescue us. We almost became space dust out there because of my stubborn boss here. <laughs> ah! 
You ought to save your thanks for chaos over there. We were just gonna leave you and fly on out of here. Oh, I see. Thank you, Chaos. No, don't mention it. After all, we all need a little help sometimes. Yeah. He often saves our hides too. So, we can't turn him down when he asks for a favor. I see. That reminds me. Hey, Cosmos. And just what do you think you're doing? You left us and then tried to go to Second Milsia by yourself. Maybe your OS is malfunctioning or something. Yes, that is possible. By the way, what were the orders from HQ? Captain Matthews, may I use the maintenance lab next to the hangar? Just a second, Cosmos. Yeah, sure. What for? Cosmos? Due to the limitations of the test juice condenser, my energy reserves are almost depleted. I wish to receive a co-generator bypass in order to replenish them. Hey! What is wrong with you? Answer me, Cosmos! So, you'll cover the bill, right? Yes. Cosmos! Uh, yes? My sensors appear to be malfunctioning. Please adjust them before we disembark at our destination. Wh why should I? Please, Xian. This is part of your job, is it not? I'm terribly sorry. The girl is just so stubborn. I do apologize for all the trouble she's causing. It's all right, I'm actually enjoying it. This ship's much livelier with more crew members. You got that right. We can always use some more women around here. How about it? Once we arrive, how about you and I get a suite and settle in with a nice bottle of wine? What? Hey! Uh huh? Uh, sure. All right, that's enough, Tony. Never mind her, at least she's a real girl. The other one's not even human, she's battle weaponry. You think so, huh? She appears to be just like any other human to me. Captain, any chance of stopping at Sunir? Hmm? That's en route on the column. Three or so days from Italia. If that's your destination, sure, I can do that. I see. And the fee? Today just ain't my day, and getting greedy now won't do me any good. I'll just put it on the tab. I appreciate it. Ah, don't mention it. You're a Marine. Let's just chalk it up to my bit of charity for the Corps. Still lurking around. Ah, it's coming in! Son of a bitch! Ah! just do well that's what i meant when i said he looks out for us looks out for you how did he just do that i've never heard of a human that can defeat gnosis there are those who draw well and those who run fast hammer's navigational skills are top-notch 
and his knowledge of the net is vast. Tony's helmsmanship skills are unrivaled. No one even comes close. Or so he claims. The captain? Well, no one holds a greater amount of debt than the captain. Ah, yes. Hey, wait a second. I believe everyone has at least one skill that they excel in over all others. It's something that defines who they are. Xion, what is it that defines you? Huh? Me? Well, I... It's the same for me. It's just something I can do. Yep, that's all there is to it. Ah. I see. Right. I think I get it. It sort of makes sense when you put it that way. Yep, that's how it is. That's all that... What the... How can you be convinced by that? That was a Gnosis, Chief. A Gnosis! Well, Captain, we better head for our destination before she throws us off the ship. The girl seems to be a stickler for schedules and all. Man, oh man. So much for my grandiose plans. After this job, I was supposed to pay off my debts, then head to Keltia to see the Seraphim sisters live in concert. Bah, you owe Master Guinan too much. You'll never pay it all off. And man, the Seraphim sisters again? You're really hot for them, aren't you? Captain, you don't actually have to go all the way out to Keltia. Why don't you just connect to the UMN and watch it later? You moron. Getting a visual feed is nothing compared to immersing yourself in the real thing. There's a world of difference between the two. It's all about reality. Who are you kidding? It's all the same. Your brain can't tell the difference. Why, you... Hurry up and take us out of here. All right. Roger that. Well then, I'll take Xion and the others to their rooms. That's very kind of you. All right, you do that. Damn! Today's been one hell of a day. Master Wilhelm, I have a report from Cosmos. Sean Uzuki and Alan Ridgely have both joined up with Cosmos. I see. This is fortunate. Especially since there's an unidentified ship closing in on the battlefield. And if the ship were to threaten the girl, Cosmos would protect her. Is that not right? Yes. That would be the prime directive. Either way, it was a wise decision to pull back Cosmos. There's no need for us to continue serving them or the Federation any longer. Besides, the data for the Rhine Maiden is now complete. All phenomena are moving forward as specified by this compass of order. As for the rest... Gather the necessary factors and wait for the other one to awaken. What's one and a half billion people to us? Their innocence. Surely they deserve more respect. Respect? For what? Save your philanthropy for someone that cares. The experiment may have been a failure, but I've taken steps to recover the emulator. If the need arises, I'm not against using the original either. All we have to do is repeat the process until we get results. Is this all too much for your conscience to bear, Pellegree? 
In that case, feel free to reveal everything and wait for your death sentence. What about you? Me, tried in a court of ignoble commoners? Don't make me laugh. We are the ones who determine life or death. But wait. Pellegri, are you telling me that you've forgotten everything we've been striving for these past 14 years? Commander Margulis. What? A message from Lieutenant Commander Vanderkamp, sole survivor of the Vanguard Force. The unit was decimated. The Zohar emulator unsecured. Where's the Zohar now? Location unknown. Possibly seized by the Gnosis. I see. Notify the 474th Spec Ops Fleet. We may need to implement Plan 31. Have them stand by in the specified coordinates for further orders. Yes, sir. So, what can you tell us about this man? He was a special forces agent with the Federation Police, a counterterrorism specialist. Of course, that was over a hundred years ago. Now he's a cyborg working freelance missions. A cyborg? How anachronistic. He's a relic from the days when they reanimated the dead. They didn't have disposable realians like we do now. Well, he's certainly got quite a resume. Rumor has it, he deliberately seeks out missions with low odds of success. Is he insane, or just fascinated with death? Well, he's been given a clean bill of mental health. It doesn't look like he does it for the killing. Humph. Advances in science have placed thousands of drugs on our shelves. And yet, we still let psychiatrists wield their influence over us. They use these assessments to validate their existence. I don't believe them one bit. Well, he's got an extremely high success rate. I think he'll be fine. Sir, he's here. Show him in. That'll be all. Yes, sir. Ziggurat 8, isn't it? Upon your death in TC-4667, you donated your body and chose to become a product of Ziggurat Industries. That's correct. Have you heard about the mission? No. Recently, we received information that a certain armed group has shown signs of resurgence. This same group was responsible for the events that took place 14 years ago. The UTIC organization? That's right. The information we've received from our independent sources has helped to identify the location of the UTIC organization's hideout. This structure was originally a shrine for some long-lost ancient religion. It was eventually abandoned and remained uninhabited for centuries. So, you want me to infiltrate and collect information on the group? If that was all we needed, we would have left it to our intelligence agency. Actually, to put it simply, we need you to rescue someone and return her to her rightful place. And technically, she's not human. Just tell me what I need to know. <laughs> A child? Is she a civilian? She's a Realian. A 100 series Realian. You've heard of them? The 100 series observational Realians. Built specifically to combat the Gnosis. I've heard rumors of them. But I didn't know they were disguised as children. Is this the first time you've seen the real thing? Yes. But isn't Vector already mass-producing them? This is a prototype. It will serve as the model for all future 100 series observational units. So, 
What you're telling me is that securing this little girl takes priority over all else, right? It helps that you're a quick study. So, will you take the mission? A cyborg has no rights. I cannot refuse your request. I will analyze the situation and let you know what weapons and resources I need. I don't mean to demand any compensation, but may I make one request? Go ahead. After my return, I ask that you eliminate the neural memories residing in my brain from my previous life. That's not a problem. But it could be a difficult procedure with a body as outdated as yours. Add as many synthetic parts as necessary. What an odd request. These days, realians are clamoring for human rights, but here's a man who wants to become a machine. All right, we'll make the arrangements. Thank you. You can get the specifics from her, Dr. Yuri Mizrahi, later. He didn't die in the line of duty. It says here he committed suicide. One shot in the head from his beloved pistol. Did you say suicide? Can we entrust the 100 series to that man? What if his self-destructive tendencies arise? Not to worry. He's been equipped with a safety mechanism which prevents him from hurting himself or abandoning his mission. He was brought back to life against his will. Once he replaces the rest of his brain with synthetics, he'll be a complete machine. Only then... will he be legally dead. How are you feeling, 100 Series Realion? Is the food here unsatisfactory? Even realians require nourishment, you know. Are the Federation's 100 series realians so ill-mannered that they don't even reply to simple questions? I don't like that name. Well, my goodness, pardon me. And what would you like to be called, Miss 100 series realian? I don't like strangers to be calling me by my name. Where are you planning on taking me? That, I'm afraid, is not for you to know. What will happen to me? You're going to help us out. Machines like you exist to be used. What happens to you after that, God only knows. Assuming you people even have a God, that is. All I can really do is seek out and find the Gnosis. I can't help you with anything! That may be true, but this part of you is a little different. We'd like to have a word with the man you have hidden inside of you. <gasps> In any case, you'd best be keeping yourself alive as long as possible. He will be arriving soon.
Let's see, the mission is to rescue a 100 series Raelian. Now, where is she being held? I don't want to cause a commotion until I find her. It would be best to avoid unnecessary confrontation. Damn it, a malfunction. I see. So that 100 series Realian is encoded with extensive amounts of research data, left behind by the founder of UTIC? Yes. It's data that could affect the entire fate of mankind. What is the founder's involvement? The founder of UTIC was the same man who advocated the creation of that child, the 100 series observational unit, Joachim Mizrahi. A madman who lost his humanity by immersing himself in science. You look as if you have something to say. Yes, you guessed correctly. He is my ex-husband. Do you want to know what it was like being married to a murderer? No. In any case, it's certain that the organization is frantically trying to get its hands on that data. I'm afraid we don't have much time to spare. Understood. I'll be leaving tomorrow at 0600 hours. Our hopes rest on you. There's... One thing I'd like to clarify. Yes? My instructions are to take the Realian to the Milshin star system. Yet she's registered with the government as your daughter. Why is it that you don't want me to bring her back here? We're currently carrying out an operation based in the area between Milsha and Mictum. An operation vital to the human race. That's why I'm sending her there. That's all I can say right now. Besides... This way... I won't have to see her either. Yuri... Misrahi... What a strange woman.
looks like my footsteps will echo on this floor. We should not run. We can walk by holding R2. Ugh, I hate having to walk slow. Freeze! Watch the enemy closely and react quickly. I thought I set an attack all skill, but I guess not. Who goes there? It's Jamama. Watch the enemy closely and react quickly. That didn't look like it was good for their continued life. Who goes there? Don't take it too hard. You do. Oh, fancy. We got a decoder for smashing that robot. Those filthy robots. That's odd. B Block hasn't checked in yet. I'll go check up on them. You two, stay right there! Yes, sir! Is something wrong out there? Shut up and sit down! That must be where she is. Watch the enemy closely and react quickly. Take it too hard. You didn't 
stand a chance. The power. The Contact Subcommittee sent me here to rescue you. The Contact Subcommittee? Mommy? Stand away from the door. I'm going to break it in. Wait, you can't! They said an alarm would go off if I tried to force it open. Hmm. I guess looks can be deceiving. There should be a master key held somewhere in this block. If you can find it... Alright. I'll be right back. Certainly not the key that we're looking for.
Watch the enemy closely and react quickly. Let's go! Executioner! The first rule of survival is to only think about oneself. I just picked up a master key and then it's like, oh, you can't go in there, that door's locked. Okay, game. Let me just confirm. You are the 100 series observational unit prototype, correct? I don't really like that name. Do you have another one? We'll talk later. Let's go. Momo! Daddy calls me Momo. I meant he called me Momo. All right. Let's go, Momo. Okay. If we get in a fight, I'll support you from the rear. I don't want to get in your way. If I'm behind you, I can prevent the enemy from pushing you back. Affirmative. But if I guard myself against attacks, like backtalls, can prevent that from happening. Don't concern yourself with me. Concentrate on yourself. We must hurry. Let's go. Let's take a peek at her stuff too. Pikachu. What does she got? What is it? What do we got up in here? Life shot. One enemy or ally. Recovery. Non-elemental ether attack. Sleep. We don't need none of that stuff. Self, a heavenly gift. I don't know what that means. Revive, reduce action. I would love a heavenly gift. What are E points? Evolve. Uh, I think these evolutions have occurred. We'll have him learn some of her stuff, I guess. Why not, right? Actually, let's mess around with the menu later, because that's... That sound is fucking horrible. You can go to sleep, Slicey. But I can't reach all the way to Brazil. climbed up on me and he's like, hello internet. I don't know how he always knows, but he, he knows. 
Anyways, two enemy entities, an enhanced cyborg, and a Raelian. Our mission is to prevent them from getting past this point. Aggressive measures are prohibited. So don't attack the little girl, I guess. They're certainly not idiots. Their response time is quick. They also changed their routes. Looks like I really have my work cut out for me this time. Does that mean I can't go that way? Precisely. Where the fuck do I go then? Very accommodating, they show no sign of moving. Gamer music ever should use siren sounds. Um, are you a military realian? No, an ex-human. Ex-human? A cyborg. An ancient relic. I registered as an organ donor without giving it much thought and they resurrected me after my death. That infamous Life Recycling Act, right? Yeah. The Species Preservation Act came about thanks to the mess that old law caused. Um, you still haven't... told me your name. It's Ziggurat. Eight. Ziggurat? Eight? You're a real human, but your name sounds more like a model number. I know. How about I call you Ziggy instead? Z-I-G-G-Y. It's short for Ziggurat. I could, but I just couldn't get one. Oh no, it's great, Dad. He's so cute. Hey, Dad, what's his name? Did you give him one yet? Nexus 6. That's just his model number, isn't it? That makes him sound like a robot. Uh, yeah. Hmm. I know. How about next? It's short for Nexus 6. What do you think? Huh, Dad? Yeah. That's a great name. Really? Come on, Nex. Let's go. <laughs> Come on, boys. <laughs> do you think it sounds like a puppy's name? Hmm? No. Call me whatever you want. Okay, then Ziggy it is. You'll sound a lot more human now. Well, looks like they're gone. Really, I couldn't have done that earlier. Oh boy. Commander, the intruder is after the 100 series. 
Really? Probably one of the government's dogs. The intruder disappeared from our sensors near D-Block. All units are currently patrolling the area. Surround D-Block. We'll fence them in from both sides. Yes, sir. I was wondering how it was going to get down that ladder. I was like, what? Who the hell climbs up a ladder like that? His ass is like hanging off. Eggs units. This sure doesn't look like a simple resurgence of an armed group. What should we do? I don't know. We won't be able to stay here much longer. A large number of soldiers are making their way over here. At this rate, this room will be filled with over a hundred soldiers in eight minutes. Recon Realians are pretty handy. I guess rushing them is out of the question. Even for you? Not even a cyborg can take on three eggs units. I'd be shot to pieces. What if the eggs units couldn't use their sensors? Well, it would probably help. But why? I can reduce their ability to some extent. How? The Hilbert effect. Using inverted Hilbert wavelengths, I can create cross interference that automatically shuts down the Eggs D Triple S enemy sensor system. That should take out most of their external sensors. The Hilbert effect? It's an anti gnosis materialization system. Normally, it's spread out over a wide range via an amplifier installed on board a spacecraft. But I can create the effect by myself in small areas like this. That might work. All right, go ahead. Okay. All right, here I go. Shut those other robots down earlier. What was that? What happened? Hilbert waves. Somebody's using the Hilbert effect on us. My enemy sensor system has shut down. It's the 100 series. I can tell from the cross interference. Find her. She's close. You mentioned cross interference. Do you feel the effects too? I'm supposed to have a much higher capacity than them. Rest a bit. I'll take care of this. I'm okay. I can still help out. 
My nano repair function still operational. this far. Still, what a worthless bunch. I can't believe they couldn't stop a lone cyborg. Sick 
like I'm about to get some decent exercise. And this baby's quite pleased as well. What's wrong? Is that all you got? Is something wrong? No, it's nothing. Momo, find a trade column and short jump us out of here. I want to get back on our return path once we shake off the pursuit. Okay. Delicious. Yeah, this ain't bad at all. Oh, come on. How can this girl's cooking be any good? But, Captain, you're stuffing your face. Ah, shut up. Don't disturb a man when he's eating. Water. Sure. You do quite a lot. Really? This is pretty typical for me back home. I have my no good brother to thank for that. He doesn't do a thing all day except sit around and read books. <laughs> well, there's no one on this ship that has any of your skills. That's a shame. I guess that's what happens when you have an entirely male crew. You got that right. Normally, there's not even a hint of estrogen on this ship, so you can forget about having a good meal. Who usually does the cooking around here? We take turns. Not that it matters, because the cooking's always bad. There is one person on board who does nothing but eat. Um, what's that? Water. Sure. Chief, um, can I have some water too? 
Oh, sorry. I hadn't noticed. Hadn't noticed. So, what are we gonna do now? Well, we certainly can't leave Cosmos to our own devices, can we? She's functioning independently. <sighs> and to think, we were supposed to get vacation time once we completed the startup experiment. Turned her over to the second division. <laughs> You're starting to sound a lot like the captain. There's no use crying over spilled milk, you know. The first thing we need to do is to contact headquarters and ask for instructions. <sighs> so I guess we're stuck with these guys for a little longer. Huh? What do you mean? I got a little suspicious, so I checked this ship's registry. Did you know that these guys are with the Kukai Foundation? That place is bad news. I heard a rumor that it's just crawling with mutants. Hey, that's kind of a racist comment. Listen, Alan. Sure, it's a well-known fact. The Kukai Foundation was established by the Milshin government as a specialized military group. But they only held that status until the completion of the post-war proceedings. Although, they haven't gotten around to demilitarizing quite yet. They're being run like any other valid foundation nowadays. You know, as a matter of fact, their current director received a lot of praise for taking in and protecting victims in the days before the Species Preservation Act. He's really to be commended. Now, what was his name? Gainan Kukai. Oh, <laughs> chaos. <laughs> What's up? Oh, I just dropped in to see if there was anything I could help out with. Oh, thanks. We could use some help drying the dishes. Sure thing. Phew, that's everything. Yep. Huh, what's this? Oh, that's for the commander. Come to think of it, he didn't join us for dinner, did he? No, and I even called him. Oh well, I'll just heat it up and take it to him. Well, how about we call it a day? Good idea. Oh. Did you forget something? No, but where did Cosmos go? Oh, Cosmos? She's being tuned in her service module down in the hangar. It'll probably take a few more hours. <laughs> oh, did you want to go down and talk to her? I'm sure she'd like that. Oh, really? Of course. Thanks. See you later. Bye. Why is this child wearing, like, two-inch booty shorts? And full spandex? It's a little sketchy. Looks like we got an email. I'm sending the new version of the EVS simulator. I'm guessing it's um, a program so that you can go back to places we've been before in case you missed items. The little bunny rabbit just confirmed that for me, so...
Kind of odd to me that they don't capitalize Chaos's name, but who am I to judge? Let's see. The passenger cabins are down and to the right across from the elevator. I'll just take a nap with this plate of curry in my arms, I guess. Just walk out of the airlock, that seems good. Probably fatal. Oh, well, there's the goddamn elevator. Supposedly. The crew room is supposed to be across from it. So that's kind of weird that it isn't. ship has a restaurant and bar and she had to go ahead and make the food, I guess. Look at that fancy robot. everywhere. I'm like, where the hell is this supposed place where I can get rid of this food so that I can progress the game? I remember this being one of the big problems with it the first time I played it. I was like, what the hell? There's just so much space that is unnecessary. Yeah, and the airlock's to the left. I already went in this cube thing. I guess I just gotta take the elevator down or something.
yes, it's across from the elevator on a different floor. That map just looked a little misleading, I guess. So we finally meet. Now, where does the real you exist? Nobody's here. this will work correctly, but why? is now under control of the UTIC organization. Any resistance whatsoever will be met with deadly force. So don't even think about trying anything. Yes, blast me, Daddy. Our orders, you will not be harmed. We appreciate your cooperation. same archetype from before? Oh, 
Oh yeah, and your little flashback there, a bunch of people with like mini guns shooting at her didn't do anything, but yeah, this is gonna work. Fucking idiot. Fuck this ship in particular. I guess we can't touch that button with our hands full. Where is this motherfucker? I need all the G I can get, baby. We upgraded our robot. God damn. This seems just completely unnecessary. I didn't see you in your room. I, I thought you might be a little hungry. What were you doing? I was looking at her. At Cosmos? With a gun in your hand? Oh, this. I it's a bad habit. I see. Well, you are a soldier after all. I know someone with a habit like that. He's always carrying a sword around with a weird grin plastered on his face. Don't you think that's dangerous? 
Uh, yeah. That's definitely dangerous. So this is the android that can take on the Gnosis. She sure doesn't look like it. Yeah. But, regardless of what she looks like, she's still a weapon. I suppose you're right. Before we left the Woglinde, what was his name? Lieutenant Virgil? He was killed by this android's battle algorithm, wasn't he? I'm not trying to blame you. Logic, reason, they can bring about death. Happens all the time. I... never thought... she would ever do something like that. You programmed her basic logic architecture, right? Yes, pretty much. I always thought of her like a daughter. Or more like a friend, maybe. But... I see. Well... I doubt we could have saved the Lieutenant from that situation anyway. Thanks for trying to cheer me up. I noticed you eat very neatly. Hmm? Ah, uh, that's part of who I am. At least, now, that is. So, what were you doing on the Woglinde? Why... why do you ask? Just... wondering. You somehow seemed... different from the other crew members. The Woglinde Task Force was assembled hastily. Besides, I'm a soldier. I'll go to where I'm assigned. A... Uh, soldier? Well, looks like we've lost them. Yeah. Thanks to your linking directly to the main controls. <laughs> You're welcome. Oh, I just received a UMN pulse. Preparing the long distance jump to the Federation capital of FIP Jerusalem. Momo, we're not going back to the subcommittee headquarters. What? Why not? I was told to escort you to the autonomous government of Second Milsha. I'm sorry. Those were my orders. All right. Now setting course for Milshan star system. I've received word that the 100 series is on board a ship headed for Second Milsha. Well, that was fast. Once she's safely transferred to the UMN control center on Second Milsha, we'll finally have a little peace of mind. It's all such a bother, though. It would have been so much easier to perform the analysis here. We can't decode the protection in that realion here. We have to send her to the UMN control center located at the former Vector Transfer Gate Control Facility. That's right. Besides, the entire area within a few dozen light years of Old Milsha has been sealed off ever since that incident 14 years ago. So this certainly beats traveling through regular space. Yoakim Mizrahi. You really outdid yourself this time. Oh, don't worry about it. You're absolutely right. By the way, do you really think the Y data is hidden within that realion? We have conclusive evidence that she holds the code to unlock the UMN transfer gate leading to the sealed off sector. Aside from that, she's pretty much a mystery. We'll just have to open her up and see. 
If she doesn't have it, we'll be required to delay the Zohar project. How will we explain that to the Council? Even if it's lost, we still have one other lead. Let me pull up my documents. This image was processed from the only remaining surveillance camera. The picture is unclear, but that boy served as Joachim's assistant. Judging from the time frame, we believe he was somehow involved with the Y data. Where did the boy come from? The records are missing. The only information we have is that he was 14 and studying at the University of Bormio. But even that's just second-hand information from Mizrahi. He got into Bormio at 14? Must have been pretty smart. You don't know what happened to him? Correct. It's currently under investigation. If he's alive, he'd be 28 years old now. This research paper is on the secondary effects of the Hilbert Wave. The Hilbert Effect? Do you think there's a chance he slipped into Vector? Back when Utik was still the Mizrahi Cerebral Sciences Research Center, Mizrahi's main patron was none other than Vector. It's certainly a possibility. There's no concrete evidence, of course. Dr. Mizrahi, please continue your investigation of this issue. Yes, of course. In any case, our first priority is to get access to the old Milsha sector. Our hands are tied until we recover the original Zohar located there. That curry was very good. You can just say thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. This game's gonna make me walk all the way back. I feel like this game is more of a movie. And to like break up the movie, they just put like random walking parts in various places that are not particularly interesting. Come to the bridge. I wonder if something happened. I love that whoever designed this ship did so in a way. Now you have to use a multitude of like elevators and lifts. No one would design a building this way. Nor would they do so to a ship. In order to operate that bridge, we need a key, I guess. Pretty much the only buildings designed this ridiculous would be like government buildings and like casinos where there has to be multiple layers of security. I guess that might make sense on a spaceship, but for the purpose of game design it's just annoying. It just slows everything down. a fucking ladder. Why is this going back down? This place gets bigger and more annoying the more I hang out in it. Thankfully nobody cares that I'm blowing up various parts of the spaceship. Yeah. 
I swear to god I took an elevator down here and now there's like a ladder over here. I don't know. There it is again. That's so weird. What is it? It's the catapult deck. There seems to be something wrong with the hatch. Air pressure? No leaks at the moment. I wonder if it's the electrical system. Shall I take a look at it? Uh, that'd be great. Doesn't look like a leak, but be careful, just in case. Got it. Oh, thanks. I just came from there. Go walk right back to the fucking place you just were. Thanks, game.
Something seems to be wrong. So this was an entirely pointless errand that the game forced me to do. Alright. If there's nothing there, I guess we're fine. Good work. Come on back. Conveniently, that thing disappeared. Got it. Please transmit your flight plan. Thank you. Cargo is scrap material. Destination is the Milshan Star System. Oh, you appear to have some excess cargo mass. Yeah, we got a little carried away. There will be a surcharge on the bill sent to the Kukai Foundation. Will that be all right? Yeah, that's fine. Very well. Have a safe journey. I had a feeling that notice. Well, we did pick up some extra junk. Ah, nothing to worry about, right? We always go over the limit. That's true. You could have billed Vector for it. You crazy? Things are already complicated enough as is. Mm-hmm. to be kidding me. This is ridiculous. But, but there's nothing I can do about it. I, I'm just passing on the orders. And I'm saying those orders are unacceptable. Oh, forget it. It's not doing me any good talking to you. Get the director on the line now. Yes, ma'am. Just a moment, please. Chief, did you see how scared she was? You're even scaring me. You don't have to yell, you know? What do you expect? How could you expect me not to yell about this? Uh, I don't know. 
Director, what is the meaning of this? It means exactly what it says. I see. Unless this is a figment of my imagination, it looks like it says that as soon as Cosmos receives her secondary equipment, we're to turn her over to the second R&D division on second Milsha and return immediately to headquarters. Like I said, it means exactly what it says. This was the plan from the beginning. I don't see why this is such a problem. Director! Xion, please don't give me a hard time about this. I understand how you feel. But I've read your report and it appears as though there are no major problems with Cosmos. No, sir. You don't understand at all. Are you listening to me? She's moving around on her own accord. I can't turn her over to the second division before determining the cause. It's still far too dangerous to use her at full battle spec. And besides, you should know full well that I understand her better than anyone else. She informed me about what happened on the Woglinde. Fortunately, we didn't suffer any human casualties, but it sounded like it could have been catastrophic. Do you really expect me to leave you and the others in such circumstances? I'm well aware of the risks. Even so! Director! All right. Have it your way. I'll smooth things over with the people upstairs. Miyuki can take care of the paperwork. Thank you, sir. One condition. Don't do anything foolish. The moment you sense even the slightest bit of danger, get out of there immediately. I don't ever want to see a repeat of what happened two years ago. Got it? Understood, sir. Hey, good going, Chief! I just did what I had to do. I'm just so glad that you're safe. Oh, you should have notified us sooner that you were okay. Hm. The military sent us a notice saying that you were killed in the skirmish. The whole department was in an uproar. You have a lot of admirers. Oh, come on. Stop joking around. No, it's true. So, what about me? <laughs> see me here. Hey, I was missing too, you know. You're kidding. I didn't even notice. Didn't notice? Well, what about the others? No one said a thing. Guess uh, they just forgot about you. You don't really make a strong impression on people. But hey, it's great that you're okay too, I guess. Yeah, thanks. That makes me feel a whole lot better. <sighs> Take a look at this. Wow. I had no idea there are ships that small that can enter hyperspace. the other small ship. I'm sorry, I have no idea. 
There's a distress call coming from the small ship. Why are we helping them? We've got enough trouble just dealing with you guys. Damn! We're in their light of fire! What? Get out of the way! Must like trouble. You okay back there? Yep, I'm fine. That's what I like to hear. Sorry I couldn't see you through this safely. It's okay. I know. Thanks for everything you've done. Are you scared? A little. But I'm okay. Because you're here with me. I see. So if you put on your spacesuits and use the hull as a shield... Roger. Neither of us here are human, so I'm sure we can make it. You alright? I'm fine. I feel a lot tougher than I look. How 
the enemy units. But don't damage the ship, understand? Understood. I will proceed at 30% output. Alan, go find the commander and protect the cabin. Huh? Are you serious? I'm counting on you. Is this a fucking anime? Why in the shit? Can it just put me where I'm supposed to be? Chief, don't do anything reckless! Oh, Jesus fucking H. Do I just go out the airlock and kill myself? It sounds kinda fun. Warning! Emergency! Caution! I gotta wander around this shithole again for the third time until apparently I find whatever it is I'm supposed to be doing. As though doing this the first two times wasn't enough. Would you like to go to basement one? I guess. I don't even know what I'm supposed to be doing. If we use the electromagnetic floor, we might be able to slow down the enemies a bit. Why the fuck would the floor be electromagnetic? Because reasons! <laughs> the This is a retarded plot element program has been activated. All crew affected sectors, please evacuate.
Here's our chance. We have to get to the hangar right away. Too bad there's no fucking elevator that goes down there. Must get to the bridge to explain the situation to the person in charge. Can you make it? Tee hee, don't you remember what I said? I'm a lot tougher than I look. LOL, tee hee, zoes, I'm a child. That's right, then let's go. I really don't get the like, the trope of like, child is with some dude who definitely. Do not hesitate. Like, adult man. Like, it just seems bizarre to me. I'm an adult man. I'm half cyborg. And I am in control of this child. I'm sorry. Are you okay? She just blasted him with her penis wand. Fucking kablam. Like, Shion's going downstairs while these fuck rags go up, I guess. <laughs> Are you in charge of this ship? No, I'm a passenger. Why were you the only two ones on that ship? How is this relevant questioning when we're in the middle of an emergency, you dumb cunt? Yeah, that's right, I'm a fucking cyborg, baby. Wanna see my electromagnetic penis? I already showed it to her. And since she's technically a robot, it's not illegal. But you can call me Ziggy. She is Momo. All caps for no reason, I guess. She's a Raelian. She is with the Federation government, just like me. Everybody's in the government. Thank you for saving us! I'm like five years old! I see. I'd like to say thank goodness you're safe, since all of us are walking stereotype anime douchebags. But it's way too early to be saying that. Who are these people after you? Yeah, let's tell this girl who's not in charge so that you can tell the captain again later. Fucking fuck off with this shit. The enemy units are auto techs that the u -Tech organization uses. Basically, they're unmanned fighter craft. We escaped from their base. They're the last of the pursuit. Unfortunately, the mothership has a transfer system. The combat units will continue to arrive unless we destroy the mothership. So unless we do something, the enemy will overrun the ship! Oh my god! Oh my stars! I'm sorry for getting you involved in this, titty slut. What? Oh, don't let it bother you. I'm an annoying do-gooder, and I take five and a half hours to walk around the whole ship to give some douchebag my fancy curry. More importantly, we have to do something about that goddamn mothership. Agreed, we can't do much, but we will help too. It's my responsibility to take care of this as a robot who's been programmed with a separate agenda than you assholes. But because it's an anime, we'll all become friends and fight the same problems together. You mean Momo too? Yeah, she might not look it, but she's more useful than me. Really? Well, I don't know about that, but I'll do my fucking best, bitch! Okay, let's hurry! Jesus fucking Christ. We have too many dumbasses in our party right now. We should only have three because of fucking reasons. What a horrible trope. Alright, baby. Who's gonna be in the party? Doesn't really matter, everybody is ridiculously overpowered. 
but I do want to mess around with their skills and stuff. Am I supposed to go back to the bridge? They don't really give very explicit instructions.
This guy's like, I'm a soldier, but he's fucking utterly useless. Target locked on. Commencing combat. Ready? Disable that thing will put a stop to the auto tech invasion. Disabling auto safety. Destroy all targets. Look, we got problems all over. The entire radar system is down. I bet the emitter's completely fried now. The generator output keeps on dropping. 
I guess we ran the ship into the hyperspace column walls a few times too many, thanks to a certain idiot who flies like a maniac. What? Hey! Who do you think it was that saved us? I wish you'd consider what the Navigator has to go through. I'm getting carpal tunnel thanks to you. Why don't you just direct Lincoln? Isn't it obvious? It's way cooler to navigate by hand. Are you stupid or something? Mind your own business. At least I'm more useful than a certain out-of-control lunatic. Oh, okay now. So you think you're the man, huh? You wanna go? What you got? Bring it on. That's okay. enough! Both of you morons, shut up! I'm sick of listening to your whining! My head hurts enough just thinking about what these repairs are gonna cost. The last thing I need is to babysit the two of you. Uh, we're back. Nove! If I had known I'd be doing this, I would have spent more time at the firing range. Hmm? What's going on? Nothing. Good work. So, who are these guys? She's Momo. And this is Ziggy. Looks like they're both with the Federation government. Nice to meet you. You two were the ones in the ship out there? Thank you very much for rescuing us. Thanks for your help. They were being held by the UTIC organization, but they managed to escape. The UTIC organization? Captain. Never thought I'd have to hear that cursed name again. What is it? That you whatever. Nothing you need to worry about. We'll stop wasting time and plot our course already. You heard him. It's nothing a stupid navigator needs to worry about. Huh. <sighs> Alan, hurry up and clean up the top of the panel. The stuff's in the way. What? You're the one who left these here? Don't take it out on me. This is for you. Thanks, Cosmos. Alan, wake up already. What's wrong with you? Oh, thanks. Just set it down there. I'm telling you, that was crazy. It was a close one, wasn't it? I gotta say, though, those were some pretty sweet moves out there, old man. Thank you very much. What? Whoa! Hold on a sec, that was you? Well, yes. I handled the flight controls. Ugh. Unbelievable. Shown up by a little girl. Kids these days. That's pretty amazing, <laughs> even for a realian. Hey, that insignia on your uniform. Yes? Is that... are you from the Mizrahi lab? Yes, I'm a 100... I'm an observational realian. It's okay, you don't have to worry. If you're concerned about government secrets, Cosmos is one too. So, you're a 100 series observational realian from the Mizrahi lab. A Hilbert equipped model, right? Cosmos is equipped with a two, you know. The Hilbert effect. But of course, ours is a Vector Original. You're with Vector Industries? Yep. So is Alan hey. over there. Be alone. By the way, where are you headed? We might be able to get you there for a small fee if it's not too far out of the way. Right, Captain? Yeah, of course. After all, we are in the transport business. Transport? Then could you please take us to Second Mill... Could you please take us to the second Milshan star system? Second Milsha? You too? What do you mean, you too? Oh, um, it's just a strange coincidence, that's all. Cosmos's new deployment is on second Milsha also. Hey, that's great. It'll cost less if you're all going the same way, Xion. Well, I suppose that's true. Captain, well, what about ship repairs? Yeah. We gotta take care of that first. Let's stop at a nearby dock colony. That all right with you? Of course. Thank you for taking us. Well, relax and enjoy the trip. Hey, Miss Vector, show him around, would you? Hmm, he's being unusually nice. What? I got a booger hanging out of my nose, or...? What? Uh, oh, no, 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 nothing, nothing. All right, then. 
Shall we go? Momo? Ziggy? Is this asshole game really gonna make me walk around this fucking ship again? This is the fourth time in a row right now. It's getting old. Do not be out of the I love that this robot is right there, but they used Cosmos to. Cosmos or whatever her stupid name is to serve all that stuff. This is a kitchen. Oh look, it's that robot. There is no need for additional manpower to complete this task. Uh, I'm sorry. Cosmos, that was rude. It's a fucking robot, you dumb bitch. You programmed it to be this way. That's so rude. God. If that's rude, then you're rude, because you programmed it to fucking wake up and smell the responsibility. Everybody in this game is like 12 years old. I'm a 12 year old genius that's the fucking CEO of your mom's vagina. Uh-huh. Oh, a 100 series Reolian. They only say that 900 fucking times. Urgh. Urgh. This is a cabin. This is a room that people lounge around in. Holy fucking fuck. Just shoot me in my fucking face. I just... I can't, Mr. Robot. I just fucking can't. This game doesn't want me to rest. It wants me to show these dickheads around this fucking ship that we already walked around ten goddamn times. This is the bridge! It's where the fucking people fly the fucking ship, I guess, fucking motherfucker. Oh god. Just shoot me in my eye holes. Oh, this is where that dickhead sits! This is where the other dickhead sits! Nobody's flying this goddamn thing, it's just floating around in fucking space! I guess they have the autopilot turned on. I guess the multitude of entities that are looking for all these fucking people are just not smart enough to figure this shit out here. Oh my god, really? They already explained this once, but let's put a robot here to tell us the exact same shit we already knew from earlier. Fabulous. What a fucking fabulous robot. I am fucking useless. <laughs> Tee hezos. Praise be to the fluffy one. This is a different cabin. It's the same thing as the other cabin. Oh, they separated out the cabins by sex, because apparently... Nobody can be trusted not to rape each other in the night on a spaceship, I guess. Would you like to save? You bet your sweet tits I do. Oh, actually, that might... Hold on a sec. Let's do a soft save first. Because I tried saving over something earlier and then it like went fucking crazy. But it appears to have worked correctly this time, maybe. Time for another 73 hour cutscene. It was very dark and the wind howled horribly around her. She felt as if she were being rocked gently, like a baby in a cradle. Huh. All's quiet after the storm. There's no trace of anything. Over. I wonder... Does that 
lake of darkness where Nero does his fishing looks something like this. You're quite the poet today, little master. Where do you come up with this stuff, huh? Read some books, Mary. It's good for you. Books are made from paper, little master. And they're such a pain to carry around. Paper and stone tablets last longer than optical data, you know. Besides, reading a book helps me get to sleep. How's the sensor readout? Anything showing up? Nothing at all. It's as if even the atoms are at rest. Not even gas or dust? If it was a giant flare, it should have at least left behind some high-energy particles. How could that be? An entire planet was here just a little while ago. Retrieving Little Master. Open Cargo Bay 6. Opening Cargo Bay 6. Opening Cargo Bay 6. Let's go! Keep up the pace, everyone. We still got work to do. Welcome back, little master. Yo. Ariadne's completely vanished. But it doesn't seem like it was destroyed. It's almost as if someone is hiding it somewhere. Hiding it? Where would that be? Who knows? The best way to find out would be to ask the person who's hiding it. Shelly? It's very slight, but I'm getting a reaction from the primer. No question about it. Some kids playing with matches, maybe? What happened to that fleet, anyway? We haven't heard anything since we picked up that distress signal six hours ago. Gnosis, huh? Hmm. They must have been totally wiped out. Not necessarily. When the little ones play with fire, you know their folks can't be too far behind. Oh, I get it. So you reckon that the mom is gonna show up soon? Exactly. Change course. Proceed to the last known coordinates of the Federation fleet. That's a fancy ship. We underestimated him by thinking he was just a relic from an age gone by. In regards to the information leak, we traced it to the Special Ops Intelligence Bureau. We're currently looking into how they discovered the route to Proloma. I apologize for the trouble. It's inevitable. There will always be vermin. I'll leave their extermination to you. Very well. So, do you really think they will show up? Oh, they'll come. After all, that's the reason for their existence. It also happens to be Milcia's Achilles heel. Cherenkov. What is it? The Zohar was... taken by the Gnosis. But... but I managed to secure the 100 series Realian. It's currently on board a cargo ship. Headed for the Milshan star system. I believe it is the same one you had secured on Priloma. What do you... Just stick to your duties. What? Don't do anything beyond the scope of your mission. We've already confirmed all the variables. The situation is proceeding according to plan. But, but, but sir... Return to headquarters at once! I'll deal with you then. Understood? Get the registration of the ship that signal came from. Track Cherenkov's marker. Yes, sir. 
You just love barking out those orders, don't you, Margulis? Show a little love to your dogs, or else they might bite you one day. You. The prototype belongs to me. I've grown bored with these Kirschwassers. So you're going? I think I'm more likely to succeed than your dogs. Ah, yes. Feed me your hostility. Pierce me with your hatred. <laughs> No, wait! Don't worry. I won't get in your way. We're working toward the same goal, right? <laughs> Is it wise to leave this matter to him? I'm not leaving anything to him. He has his uses, that's all. into shark-infested waters with a big juicy steak. I found the remains of a Zohar security ring. I guess this is where they were storing it. Shelly, set the sequencing primer. Roger. Initiating primer walking. Analyzing gate and wake. If they're already out of range, we're out of luck. Let's hope they're still hanging around nearby. I can't believe you're hoping those things are still here. Aren't you scared, little master? There are plenty of things in this world scarier than the Gnosis. So, how is it? Have they already gone over to the other side? Just hold your horses there, little master. I'm in the middle of analyzing. What? What is it? Emergency alert! Looks like someone got here before us! It appears we're completely surrounded. Using short jumps, eh? <laughs> That's pretty damn clever. Little Master, are they? Yeah, no question about it. They're from Utah. Mary, I'll head back after I take care of these guys. All crew to return to the Durandal.
situation. It's a standard attack vessel. Unknown registration. All weapons are at condition zebra. Interlocks removed. Awaiting orders, sir. has begun its retreat. <sighs> It'd be nice if we could just let him go. But we can't do that. We can't. Shelly, give him a little nudge. And when he says a little nudge, you know what that means. Set engines to ramming speed. Penetrate the port side and prepare for combat. Alrighty, before I delve into yet another arc of this game, it is my fucking bedtime, so thank you for watching, and we will see you next time here on the Bunny Channel. Anyways, I'll update my Twitch schedule whenever the hell it is I wake up tomorrow. It's almost 1am my time, so we'll see what happens. Probably wake up around noon, need my 12 hours of sleep, otherwise I'm cranky.